Good evening, Araneta! Well, anyway, it's just really a great honor and privilege to be part of this event. What I want to talk about is dreams. Who among you have a dream in life? Pakitaas sa mga kamay, may mga pangarap. Sino sa inyo may mga pangarap na magkaroon ng sasakyan? Pakitaas sa mga kamay. Pwede na ba itong sasakyan na ito? Pwede na ba ito? And then when you get caught in the traffic, okay, you can also watch your favorite DVD. Not only that, siyempre kasama mo pa rin ang misis mo. Is that a big dream? Yes or no? Unfortunately, most of us inside this room, we have big dreams but we have small income. In reality, the right mindset or the right idea is to increase your what? Your income to reach your dreams. Is that right? Yes or no? But what do most people do? What people do is what? They decrease their what? Dream to fit into their income. If that is how you think, your car will exactly look like this. Okay? So your car will be cow-powered. It's not gas-powered. Okay? You got to change. Everybody say change. The change must start from the inside, not start from the what? Outside. Because everything that happens on the outside must first happen in the inside. Everything that happens on the exterior must first happen in the interior. If you don't like the output of your life, you better change the out, not the outside. You better change the input. Would you all agree? Yes or no? First things first that you need to change is what? Change your mindset. Allow me to share with you a simple formula. It's called what? Mindset plus action equivalent to what? Result. Everybody follow me. Negative mindset, negative action, negative what? Positive mindset, positive action, positive. Mindset is so powerful that it can affect the way you think, it can affect the way you feel, it can affect the way you make your decision, it can change the destiny of your life. To prove to you that mindset is so powerful, if you can still recall when we were still young, Oftentimes, our parents would tell us, Anak, gusto ko mag-aral ka mabuti para paglaki mo, maghanap ka na magandang? May masama ba sa trabaho? Paano po kami pinalaki mga singkit? Okay? Anak, gusto ko ikaw aral mabuti, ikaw laki tayo, maganda, negosyo. Tama mali. I have lots of Filipino friends, I'm 100% Chinese, but I'm cons I considered myself 110% Filipino. Iniipig ko po ang Pilipinas. Ito po lupang aking silangan. Panatang makabayan. Well, anyway, sa palagay nyo, who would have a better opportunity to earn more money? The one who looked for a job or the one who started the business? But what was the major difference? Was it the school that we went to? Was it the books that we read? Was it the exams that we took? I do believe the major difference was how were we mindset when we were young? Would you agree? Yes or no? As a matter of fact, if you agree with me or not, or not, who we are today is only a reflection on how we were raised when we were young. That's the reason why it's very, very important. If you want to stay positive, first things first, my request, stay away from negative people. May makilala ba kayong mga tao na parang nilikhala talaga ni Lord na pampabigat po ng buhay natin? Yes or no? Grabe! Sa sobrang nega. How would you know if a person is negative? Paano malaman? May kakilala pa kayong tao na parating galit? Kakamustay mo? Kamusta ka na? Anong pakialam mo? Hindi kakaya na tayo. Hindi, pusog pa ako. Ang laki ng problema mo. Another sign of a person who's negative, they love to complain. Their favorite pastime is complaining. Parang yung padre na pabili sa bahay, pag-uwi. Grabe ako din nagtatrabaho dito. Ako nagpapalamon sa inyo. Tapos isa lang po tayo yung ginagawa nyo. Narinig ni Mrs. Nasaktan. Kinabukasan, nagluto na tatlong po tayo. Pag-uwi ni Mr. Ang sabi ni Mr. Bakit? May party ba dito? May party? Magluto ka ng isa, nagre-reklamo, magluto ka tatlo, nagre-reklamo pa rin. Another sign of a negative person is what? They, they like to what? Hurt other people. Kung magsalita sila, talagang walang pakundangan. You know people who love to hurt other people. Yes or no? We just need to understand this. Because hurting people hurt other what? People. And some people who live miserable lives, they also want to what? Make other people what? Feel miserable. Would you agree? Yes or no? That's the reason why may I request everybody to please raise up your right hand. Raise up your right hand. Tap the shoulder of the one on your left. Sabi mo sa kanya, stay away from negative people. Raise up your left hand, please. Raise up your left hand, please. Tap the shoulder of the one on your left. Sabi mo, layuan mo ko. Oy, walang negative dito. The reason why we're here because we are all positive. Would you agree? Come on. Everybody say, unfortunately. Most of the time, the negative people are people who surround us. 
who often what spend time with us. Admit it or not, the people who are closest in our lives are the people who can hurt us most. Would you agree? In order to, for, for you to fulfill your dream, surround yourself with what? Positive people. Surround yourself with people who can what? Encourage you. Who can believe in you. Who can what? Support you. Because if you always surround yourself with complainer, what will happen? You will become a complainer one day. If you always, always surround yourself with people who are negative, you'll become negative one day. There's a great saying that says, birds of the same feathers what? No, actually, they become a feather duster. Believe me. You want your dreams to become a reality aside from choosing the right people that you want to surround with. Second thing is what? Stop reading what? And watching what? Bad news. Would you agree? Yes or no? Because bad news does affect us unconsciously. No offense, man. I'm part of a radio program also. But unfortunately, most of the news that has been broadcast over the radio, is it positive or negative? Ganun din sa news. That's the reason why you have to choose what you feed your mind. Admit it or not, what you feed your mind becomes stronger and what you starve in your mind becomes what? Weaker. We are what we think. So instead of you what? So reading negative news, what do you need to do? You have to what? Read what? Positive news. You have to what? Attend what? Seminars just like this. Tonight, we will all read what? Be changed. We will be what? Encouraged. Are you all excited? Yes or no? Haven't you noticed? The bigger the dream, the bigger the opposition. The bigger the dream, the bigger the what? The challenges. Is that right? Yes or no? Let me encourage you, no matter what happens in your, in your life, no matter how many times you fail in your life, no matter what kind of upsets you have experienced in your life, never ever give up. Never allow negative people to steal your dreams away from you. You have to fight for your dreams, no matter what it may cost. I'd like to end with this story. Actually, He's in grade one, and the teacher asked them to draw something that they would like to have when, he, when they grow up. And this young boy drew on a piece of paper a big ranch with cattle, horses, pigs, chickens. And when he submitted a drawing to the teacher, the teacher then told the young boy, this is such a nice drawing. Unfortunately, your grandfather is poor. Your father is poor. You cannot afford to have this. You better change this drawing or else I'll give you a zero. The young boy went home sad and talk to his dad. Dad, this is what I want to have when I grow up, but unfortunately, we're poor. And the teacher said, we cannot afford this. If I don't change this, I'll fail. What do I need to do? And the father talked back to the son and said, son, it's your dream. It's up to you. The following day, this young boy submitted the same piece of drawing. When the teacher saw the drawing, the teacher then said, are you testing my patience? It's either you change this drawing or I will give you a zero. And you know what the young boy said? Ma'am, you can give me a zero, but I'll keep my dreams. After 20 years, the teacher was still a teacher. They went on a field trip. They went on a bus ride. And then they went on a ranch. When they arrived at the ranch, she was the last one to alight the bus. When she alighted the bus, then suddenly there was a young, good-looking man chasing after the teacher and said, Teacher, teacher. And the teacher turned around and said, Sino ka? And the young man said, Hindi po ko sino ka, tao po ako. Ma'am, can't you remember me? I was that young boy. I was the boy who drove the ranch. This is my ranch. These are my cattle. These are my horses. These are the pigs. And then while he was narrating, then the teacher then suddenly remembered who this young boy or this young man was. And then unconsciously, tears start rolling down his cheek, uh, her cheeks and said, Young man, I've been teaching for over 20 years. I've been stealing dreams and visions from young children just like you. It's a good thing you fought for yours. People of Araneta, young and old, all of us inside this room, the reason why we all are here because we have a dream to fulfill. Is that right? Yes or no? Allow me to encourage you, no matter what happens in your life, never allow people to steal your dreams away from you. You got to fight for it and when you fight for it, you got to go for it. Thank you very much and God bless you all.